in their usual striped shirts. And away we go. Palace looking to do the double over West Brom at this level. Certainly got that to play for as well as league points in the under-18 league. Here come Palace now. This could be the first opportunity. Might be the opening goal. He just wasn't able to get the shot away, Benji Casey. Palace, of course, looking to get the points they need under, under Oliver Glasner. But here the under-18s are going to have to do some defending. Good skill. Out comes the keeper. Eastwood did so well there. No suggestion of a penalty. That's brilliant goalkeeping. Rio Cardines, right wing, right boot. Hoists it. Hopefully it's a good delivery as well. Can they get the shot away? It comes through from Seb Williams. Fired that through a ruck of bodies. But in their own half of the time being. Grant. Cardines. Chasing this one down. Oh, great work by Gibbard. Gibbard with the cross and the header. Flashes wide. A West Bromwich Albion free kick. Deeming. Hits it. Wide. And here come Palace on the charge, but it's cut out well. And Curtin. Archie Curtin takes a deflection and wide. It's good defending in the end by Luke Brown. Here come West Brom now with Sule. Marjoram sliding in with the challenge. In comes the shot. Flashes just wide. Change. And here's the shot wide. Another one for the first period. Nelson. Nelson still. Tries to thread it through. Chance here. What a tackle. That is from the trialist, but it will be bundled in from close range by Divine Onyemachi. And West Brom have the lead on the stroke of half time. It's the Albion number 11 from close range. He couldn't miss. Put in a good shift so far for Palace. Ball now for Casey. Who's in? Benji Casey at the start of the half. Goes down. Is it a penalty? It is, the referee points to the spot. That's absolutely brilliant stuff from Benji Casey. Lively, pacey, super ball played into his path by Dashi. Casey fouled by Cissé. Penalty for Palace, won by Casey. Saved by Cissé, Casey on the follow-up though, scores. Well, had the presence of mind to react well. The initial save from Cissé, but Casey, at the second time of asking, made no mistake. Um, the the half-time was very short, wasn't it? Here come Palace, as it's not for Gibbard. They want a second goal here. You wouldn't bet against it with Gibbard on the ball. Gibbard, great feet. Plays the pass, the shot first time. Well, you could see what he was thinking there. George King have taken it in. They've not moped. They've not got down about conceding at the end of the first half. They've rolled their sleeves up, they've dusted themselves down, they've gone again and they've got the goal. But here come Albion now, there are going to be more goals in this game, by the way. Here they come, they want to retake the lead and it is the goal scorer with the shot. Blocked by Jake Graham. Pick up the comments from the sidelines, isn't it, from the coaches in these games. Here's the ball, measured forward by Marjoram. Will it break for Palace here? It's going to come through for Casey again. Oh, and George King loitering to see everyone in the squad get their opportunity as well here now come Albion didn't make the most of that his initial shot was saved and then he scored on the rebound here he goes again it could be another one oh it could be another penalty kick as Casey has won a second spot kick of the game absolutely outstanding he is exhilaratingly quick and the referee issues a second yellow card his second penalty. Here he goes. Scores. 2-1 to Crystal Palace. Two goals for Vanjie Casey. He's been brilliant in this second period. He's turned the game in Crystal Palace's favour. That is for sure. It's fifth goal in three starts for Casey, but Tyler White now. Oh, what a run that is. Keeper claws it away. That was good work by the sub. Had to sacrifice an outfield player to bring on Louis Brady. Palace again, good save. It'll come now for Dashi on the follow-up wide. Well, that was 
the opportunity to put the game to bed. Chimaziri. Good challenge by Gibbard. Tenacity and quality from the skipper. And now Tyler White and Dashi slots the pass for Casey. Oh, that was the chance of the hat trick. He would have been taking the match ball home with him there. It's a two player wall. He's got plenty of options. Deeming goes for glory. That's weak. Here come West Brom now with Curtin and still. Oh, and a good save by Eastwood. Excellent stuff. The substitute, Daniel Chimaziri, drove it in. That was a good chance for Albion to level, but Eastwood hasn't had too much to do in terms of shot stopping in this game. He produced there, as he so often does, crucial moment in the game. And give us the man you want on the ball. There is the final whistle. Benji Casey at the double for Crystal Palace. An excellent victory. They were 1-0 down at the break.